an unusual lineup on the pitch of Moscow's Lokomotiv Stadium. But this is a game with a difference. Russia's politicians and performers took part in a charity football match, part of a nationwide initiative known as Under the Flag of Kindness. They may have swapped the stage and the halls of parliament for the football pitch, but these are players used to being at the top of their game. However, today's match isn't about being the best or who wins or loses. It's about raising money that could mean the difference between survival and the crime for hundreds of Russian children. 15,000 spectators go wild as Russia scores, early predictions from the team members coming true all at once. We are the champions. But they are also championing a cause. We are just helping attract more people to the stadium and thus to raise more money. It's not a one-time event and such matches have already raised money for many children for the last few years. And there are more and more matches like this throughout the country. In three years, the project has raised over three million dollars spread between 266 children. Children like Dominika, eight months old and eight days on from a kidney transplant. Doctors say she's recovering well, but still has a long road ahead of her, and the costs are mounting. If you count the salaries of the staff who care for the child and the medicine, which is very expensive, then there's no money left for everyday things, especially if you consider that not every child recovers immediately. So while celebrations continue at the stadium, the resolve to keep up the good work hasn't faded. Politicians and performers alike hope to be back on the pitch next year, playing not to save goals, but to save lives. Claire Sebastian, RT, Moscow.